The best part about this program has been coming in every day in state-of-the-art facilities and learning from amazing athletic trainers. And that has given me tremendous joy and knowing that I found real passion, especially within sports medicine. I think the beauty of going to a master's degree in athletic training allows people that might not have found athletic training to be able to pursue that at the master's level. So here at the University of Michigan, in the, the master's program is new nationally from an accreditation standpoint. We've had a program for 20 years, so we've kind of figured things out uh, in terms of how to teach students and prepare them as best we can. The passion for athletic training and sports medicine is there. We like diversity all around in our program, and that includes educational backgrounds. So we have students that have come from kinesiology, exercise science, from biology, chemistry, business as well, and engineering. The flexibility of this program is really what you know separates it from everybody else. Being able to come here in the summer and knock out the majority of the courses so that you feel prepared going into the next fall is so amazing. And then you can choose that next year when you want to do your immersion. I think that first year is pretty intense. We'll meet once a week for a couple hours and go through those reinforcing skills. And, you know, at the beginning of the class, we'll, we'll talk about the theory, you know, how it's supposed to go, how it's supposed to look and what you're supposed to do. And then in the summertime, let's go do it. Let's move over to the treatment tables and let's put people on the tables and let's practice on each other and make sure that we feel comfortable with those skills. Once you get here, you really have a group of 20 to you know 25 people who are all having the same goals in mind of being the best athletic trainer they can be. And it really pushes you and helps you on those tough days. It's that sort of family atmosphere that we have here. There's no way around the fact that they're gonna spend a lot of time with our cohort. We can't have a lab of 80 people. The way that they'll learn a motor skill uh, really varies a lot. So you have to spend time with each person to make sure that they're getting it. My classes have really fed a healthy cycle of understanding theoretical concepts, but then practicing them hands-on. My favorite one so far has to be, you know, CPR first aid. It's a part of, uh, you know, our way of getting our licensure to be CPR and uh, first aid certified. It's such a great way to build a bond between all of our classmates and the cohorts. Clinical immersion rotation is a rotation that the students do in their second year of their program. They do not take classes and they do it under the tutelage of an athletic trainer. So we've had students do it at the professional level in professional Major League Baseball, NFL, high level Division I college athletics, high school settings, performing arts and ballet settings. So it really can make your clinical experience what you want to, to set you up for your career goals. So pretty much whatever they can think of in terms of doing an immersive experience, they can do it here. If a student has a specific goal professionally, it's nice for them to have that experience during their education process. I knew I wanted to do something in women's soccer. I have always loved women's soccer. Getting to do something in the professional world would be different and it'd be a great opportunity to get my foot in the door. I actually originally reached out to the Red Stoker saying, hey, I'm looking for an internship. Our head athletic trainer here, Emily, sent me an email maybe a week later. It was pretty a quick process. They're really lucky that Taylor was eager to come on board and she came in May and she'll stay with us through the end of the season, which is awesome. Just having a short bit doesn't really get you immersed in what we do or what the role is like in this environment and then you get really comfortable with the athletes and the staff and you really grow throughout the season with your confidence and your skills. I think the faculty here are just so outstanding. They want the best for you and they try to push you to be that best. In terms of resources, when it comes to professors, classrooms, buildings, technology, that I will have everything at my disposal to maximize the learning opportunities that I will have. One of the biggest things for me is, I think, having that heavy load at the beginning so we have time to be in a fully immersed setting. We're just being able to apply everything that we've learned at Michigan. I tell them that all the time. This is your chance to make mistakes and ask questions and really just soak up as much as you can. We've had such great feedback of individuals asking for our students to actually come back for jobs because they've done such a great job in their clinical immersion and set up with the clinical skills. The University of Michigan alumni base is large, and so from a networking standpoint, it's second to none to be able to find athletic trainers across the country that have networks and, and connections to the University of Michigan. I think that shift going forward is going to get even greater with, you know, all the states coming in and deciding, like, to recognize athletic trainers as healthcare professionals. Come join a great team, come join a great program, and we're excited to be, I would say, the leaders in the best and lead the athletic training program forward.